Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Sarah and I am an American expat living in Kraków, Poland. On my channel, I love to talk about my life in Poland, the things I'm experiencing, what I'm learning, and all of that kind of stuff. So if you love all things Poland or you're interested in learning more about what American expat life looks like, you know, in a different country, I would love to have you stick around. So be sure to hit the subscribe button because I make new videos every single Wednesday and I would love to have you stick around. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So as I'm sure you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be talking all about apartments. So I love apartments. I think they're so fun to look at. Sometimes I'll just even go onto like a real estate website and just look around to see what's available. And for me, I just think it's really fun. I love not being nosy per se, but just seeing what is out there. And you know, it is definitely no different um, now that I live here. Like I love going online and just checking it out. And that's actually how we found our current um, apartment and really grateful that we were able to do that. But uh, I just thought it'd be really fun to show you what my apartment currently looks like versus what my apartment looked like in America. And really be talking about what I got in America versus what I can get here. And showing you the similarities, showing you the differences, um, kind of what you can expect from like a European apartment. Keep in mind, what I'm talking about today is only based on my experience. My experience living in America versus here in Poland. I cannot talk about every single apartment in America nor every single apartment in Poland. That is just absolutely not going to be the case. As, as with anything, there's a huge range of prices and quality and kind of like what you get for your money. So I'm really only talking about the places I have lived in with my own experience. So I have seen other apartments. I just haven't lived in them. Um, but I will say that our apartment that we are currently living in is a bit more on the uh, upscale side for where we live here in Krakow. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you find this video interesting because I think it's cool just to go back and kind of compare differences. Like even though they are both first world countries, there are things that are uh, a little different. So hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button so that I know that you like this video. And let's go ahead and get started with these different apartments. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but a few years ago, my husband and I were on the show called House Hunters International. And in America, at least, this show was everywhere on HGTV. You could just go and see different people living in a different part of the world. And they would see three apartments and um, really kind of break down the pros, the cons, what they liked, what they didn't like, and then rent the apartment. I'll actually have a card linked up here so you can see kind of a behind the scenes episode um, of our entire series and it was really cool it was a lot of fun to make and um yeah that was actually before we moved into our current place we've lived in two apartments here in Krakow the first one was what you would see on house hunters and then we actually just moved into this apartment maybe seven months ago so we are fairly new to this place but we are loving it it's a great place to live um and we're really happy being here so i guess i'll go ahead and start off with the similarities between what we lived in in america versus what we have right here in krakow so i would say probably the only sim like only really similar thing is the price tag what we paid in america is exactly the same price that we are currently paying at this this place so it's kind of funny to see that so knowing that the price is the same here is what is different so in America, we actually had a standalone refrigerator and I know every home comes with a refrigerator, but in America, at least where we lived, it was like a completely standalone refrigerator. So it was like stainless steel and it was just kind of like set apart from like the rest of the kitchen. Uh, you can see here, this is actually our fridge. <laughs> you can see, so this is our fridge and this is our freezer and this is uh, hidden. And so it looks like it's a cabinet, but it's not, it's our fridge. So um, that's one thing that is just totally different that I was not used to when coming here. I know in America, things are starting to become more up and coming. And as you do more of a new build, you're going to start getting more of these like hidden refrigerator situations. Um, but at least a few places I've lived here, in uh, Poland, it's always been like that. And that's crazy to me. Let's go ahead and stick with the kitchen situation. So if we're talking about the fridge, uh, my place in America had a dispenser where you could actually come over to the side and uh, press a lever and water would come out as well as dispense ice. Super handy, not here because it would ruin the aesthetic, right? So um, yeah, that's just a little bit of a difference there. You had to go to the faucet or have uh, filtered water in your refrigerator. 
Another difference is that um, our place in America had gas cooking. That was like this, like everyone really wanted gas. Everyone like electric, no one really wanted that anymore. They wanted to upgrade to gas. So moving to Poland, I was so used to cooking with gas and then our apartment uh, has induction. <laughs> And I had never heard of cooking with induction before, and I was super confused. Um, everything is very like touch screen and odd. I mean, it's just, it's a cool concept, um, but it took me a minute to figure it out moving here because I was so used to gas. And now after having induction, I do not want to go back to gas. Next thing, my American apartment had a separate washer and dryer. You know, they're definitely quite large um, and man, they're powerful and they can fit a lot of clothes. So moving to Poland and coming and uh, realizing that most places only have a washing machine and that you have to hang dry all of your clothes came as a huge surprise to me. I'm not saying I'm a stranger to it. I mean, I've definitely done it as we've traveled and stuff, but as like living in an apartment, very, very different for me. Um, our first apartment had a washer dryer combo. And then this current apartment does not have a dryer at all. So every week I have to plan out my laundry and make sure I start laundry on a certain day to have it be done at a certain time. And um, it's a process because over here in Poland, it's really humid. So it can t depending on the day, it can take a while for your clothes to dry. And then it can like really heat your house up and make it very humid and you know, it's just something to get used to. A lot of people do choose to hang it outside, but I live by a construction zone and it might get really dusty and dirty. So it just really kind of depends on that. But yeah, I mean, from what I see most, like a lot of places here just do not have a dryer. So yeah, that was just something to get used to for sure. Another difference is my American apartment had carpet in every single room except the bathroom and the kitchen. So um, you just had to really vacuum a lot and, um, carpet, it kind of is really nasty because it catches a lot of the dirt and the dust and the grime. And no matter how many times you vacuum it, you can't ever get it out. So you have to get it professionally cleaned and it's, it can just be really gross. Um, and especially if you have allergies or asthma, you know, it can really just trap a lot of that, uh, gunk inside the carpet. So moving into Poland, at least the few places I have lived in and in the multiple places I have seen, they have hardwood or tile pretty much for the entire house. The only carpet that you have is if you bring a rug in yourself or the apartment comes with a rug. So I personally really like that. I prefer that now that I have a dog who sheds so much. It is crazy uh, having uh, tile and hardwood floors really just makes all the difference. The next thing, my American apartment had central air and heating for the entire house. Every room in every, like in the entire apartment had a vent. And so if it was cold and you just turned the heater on, every single room would get heat to that room just from the central part. Same with the air conditioning. So moving to Poland, it was a little different uh, coming here because again, the places I've lived, they have radiators and the radiators are in every room. Um, but you know they're like they're not like the central heating that i was used to in america um like your landlord has to decide like what day to turn it on and then you have to go and turn your pipe on and that'll actually start to heat your house up and then after a certain time in the year they will turn off the uh, hot water to your like to heat your apartment um and then that's usually for the summer and a lot of places that i've seen here do not have air conditioning and it gets so hot here in the summer uh I know it's only for a few months out of the time, but for us, it was pretty important to have air conditioning. And so the air conditioning units that uh, we've had in the past, you know, two apartments are is usually only one and the air conditioner is located in the living room. So it doesn't get to the rest of your bedroom and like your rooms or whatever. It just hits your uh, living room. So, you know, in the summertime when it gets so hot, we have to turn the uh, AC on in our living room and then have fans pointing toward our office and bedroom because otherwise it just gets so hot and the air doesn't really redirect that well. So yeah, that's something that it definitely took a little bit to get used to. Um, now we're just used to kind of sweating it out in the apartment over the summer, but uh, for that first summer, man, it was brutal. Another thing, my American apartment had screens on the windows. So if you open up your window, you would have a screen to prevent bugs or, you know, any kind of other debris flying into your house because the screen would catch it. Here in Poland, I have not seen screens on windows at all. So it's like if you crack open your window, you're going to get bugs in your house because 
they don't have a screen. And also kind of going along the lines of opening a window, um, you know, in America, you would just slide your window open or like slide it this way or slide it this way. Um, but here in Europe, you tilt the window. So you turn the handle all the way up and then you pull and the window tilts a little bit. So uh, yeah, I mean, of course you can fully open the door, but if you want to crack the window, you just have to tilt it from the top. Another thing my American apartment had, my Polish apartment does not have, is a broom closet. So the places I lived in in America had a separate closet for your cleaning supplies. So it was like the perfect height for your vacuum and your broom and your mop and like all of the stuff that doesn't really seem to have a place. Uh, you just quit. You just put it in your broom closet and it was done. Here in Europe, uh, storage is actually pretty limited, and so. Uh, you have to get kind of creative on where you put your cleaning supplies. So for us, um, it, it's just behind a curtain. And I know it's not great, but we don't have another place to put it. Uh, so that's a little different for me. But, you know, it kind of is what it is. When you live in a smaller space, you have to definitely adjust for that. I'm sure if you had a bigger space, it would be different. But for, again, I'm just speaking from my experience there's really not a lot of storage. Another thing in America is that our walls in the apartment were so thin, like so thin. Um, and so like hanging something on the wall was not that big of a deal. Uh, here in Poland, at least the two places we have lived, they're built out of concrete. And so if you're going to hang something on the wall, it's like a huge thing. You have to like really drill uh, like huge holes and everything in the wall and you have to secure it so it doesn't fall through the concrete. I mean, it's just, like, it's a big thing. So, but I also do appreciate that because it makes the house really quiet. It keeps the house very well insulated. You don't ever have to worry about it being drafty or, um, you know, anything like that. It just holds the heat in super well. And I really like that. So since it's cold here, like nine months out of the year, I think it's super great to have everything be so well insulated. And then the last difference, I would guess, between our apartments was that to the one in America, while we're paying the exact same price, the one in America was about 1,100 square feet or like 102 square meters. Uh, I would say that is pretty typical. I mean, it was like a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Uh, yeah, so I'd say for the price and for the size. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I've definitely seen places that are a lot more expensive. The place that we lived in, I would say was like middle of the road to slightly middle of the road, like slightly above average. I would say uh, it wasn't anything super fancy, but it also wasn't uh, terrible. Like it was a nice place, but it wasn't amazing. Um, whereas this place here that we are living at in uh, Krakow, it's about 50 square meters or so, and that is about 530 square feet, give or take. So it's about half the size of our apartment in America, and it's the same price. Keep in mind that we are next to um, downtown, like we live really close to downtown. Um, we have a parking space, we have a huge balcony. We do have like benefits to this apartment. And so us downsizing by half really isn't a big deal. Um, but, you know, I knew coming to America, we would have to downsize. So we severely downsized. We sold pretty much everything we owned and um, just moved here. And that's why I'm so glad everything is furnished here because, you know, in America, that's another, that's another thing is in America, nothing was furnished. So we had to bring everything to every apartment or house that we ever lived in. Whereas here we can just pack up a suitcase, show up at a new apartment and be able to live our life again. So, um, yeah, that was, that was definitely an adjustment, but to be honest, I think we are a lot happier here in general. Personally, I love the apartment we are in a lot more than I did in America because this apartment is very new, very modern, very upgraded. Um, everything about it, I love. Like the finishes are great, the colors are great, the shower is amazing. It's just like all of this stuff that I love, um, and I'm really glad to have it. So, anyways, that is kind of an overview of the differences between American versus Polish apartments. Again, this is only for what I've experienced. Um, I know there's a very wide range, but keep in mind that our apartment is a bit on the newer side. So um, yeah, but like everything I've seen for rent and stuff is really nice. And you know, like just because we're living here now doesn't mean we won't be here next year or we'll choose a different place. But um, we really do like all of the apartments that we have seen and we have loved the ones we've lived in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on new videos every single Wednesday. And with that said, I will go ahead and see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching.